For the next few days, I'm challenging myself to eat only what I can catch using various forms of primitive weapons. We gotta weapons. start out with our knife and bare hands. See the little worm. First bit of nutrients for the day. This thing was carrying eggs. We might chuck her over a fire and give her a shot, hey? That's going way, way better. It's going straight on, man. Look at the meat and on that. And this wild adventure all starts right now. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. We're back in Australia, baby. We have come from the other side of the world, Indonesia, and we are back in the Holy Land, Australia. And today, guys, we got one wild challenge. I'm gonna pull up up here and tell you guys exactly what's happening. But take a look at these conditions. We are so on. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> we are so on today, guys. Look at the conditions. It is turned it on. We're back in Australia, man. And we got some psycho challenge going on today. Now, for the next few days, guys, I wanna challenge myself to survive off only what I can catch. But that's not it, guys. We are doing a gun game. Now, how this works is, essentially, we gotta start out with our knife and bare hands. We have to catch some type of animal or food. And then from there, guys, we ditch the knife and we go to the hand spear. Now, once we catch something on this hand spear, which is gonna be a bit of a challenge, this is just like a little gidgey, it's got a prong ahead on it. We can swim out there and, you know, try smack some small fish. And then from there, guys, we move to the big dog the big spear gun with the reel on it. And then from there, hopefully we can smack something larger and we can have that for dinner. So essentially the point of this challenge, guys, is it challenges me to go out of my comfort zone and hunt in weird ways that I wouldn't usually do it. So we just got the knife in our bare hands. We need to find some type of food that we can use with that. And then we go to the Gigi, this thing right here. Guys, I only run this thing on usually small fish. So it's gonna be a challenge to get something on that. And then we go to this bad boy. This is what I usually run, guys. This is just like a one-two spear gun, and this thing is an absolute weapon. It's got a reel on it, so hopefully we can smack something good on that spear gun. And I just want to have a massive cook-up later on, over an open fire on the beach, on sunset, and just let the good times roll, baby. But let's start exploring this beach and see if we can tick off the first thing, this bloody knife and our bare hands. We need to try find some type of food, man. I don't know what the hell we're gonna get, but let's start exploring, eh? Let's go. Challenge has been set, guys. For the next 24 hours, we're not eating anything unless we catch it with one of those weapons, man. We gotta start out with the knife in our bare hands, but uh, I think that along this coastline, we should be able to hopefully forage something off the beach that we can hopefully use. If we find a coconut washed up, or you know, maybe some fish that are washed up, maybe we can rip a fillet off a dead fish or something. But uh, that's probably instant food poisoning. <sighs> All right, let's keep going. <laughs> now guys, if you look along this coastline, there actually is so many things you can find. This right here, guys, I don't know if you remember it from the last episode, but you can actually eat it. It's like a little bit salty, a little bit sweet. It's quite nice. It does have a lot of sand on it, you can see. Obviously the sand is blown onto it, so it's got a nice crunch factor to it. But I'm not gonna count that because I ate it last episode and that's almost cheating. We need to find something new, so let's just keep exploring, see what we can find, eh? Guys, I've come down to the water's edge right now and I know there's a really nice type of food that we can get here. Requires us to do a little bit of a dance, but I think we can get it. Essentially, you just gotta dig your feet in, just like this. Shuffle your feet, and hopefully, we can find some. Yeah, there's some beautiful things. Oh, look at that, it's a worm. Look at that. See the little worm, man? First bit of nutrients for the day. Oh, actually didn't taste too bad, man. There we go, first bit of worm. Does that count as bare hands? We won't count a worm, that doesn't really count, does it? All right, <laughs> I can't believe I just ate a worm, bro. That's cooked. I think there's a really nice type of like shellfish along here that we can get. I just want to find a good zone to find them. That's actually crazy. We've already found two things that we've managed to eat or snack on, I guess. We got that uh, plant up in the sand dunes up here and we also just found that little beach worm, man. I thought I was bloody done with eating worms when I was a little kid. <laughs> guess that shiz doesn't stop, man. <laughs> Nearly swore, but you didn't get me. I can't get over how beautiful it is today. Oh my goodness, take a look at this. All right, this looks like a really good spot here. Let's give her a shot, eh? What I'm doing, guys, I'm just digging my feet in and shuffling them. I just want to get them below the surface. Pretty much, you just got to use your hips and your legs. You pretty much just swivel like this. Your feet kind of slowly sink, sink into the sand and then you can feel them out from there, guys, or something. There we go, that's what we want. That's a bloody pippy, guys. That's exactly what we're looking for. We'll chuck him in the back pocket. This is a pippy. It's a type of shellfish that scatter all along these beaches and they're pretty much filter feeders. But if you cook these correctly, guys, they are one of the most beautiful things to eat. So I'm gonna collect a few of these and we have ticked off number one with the bare hands. Not only are these pippies absolutely beautiful to eat, they're actually incredible bait that you can use to catch fish off the beach here. 
specifically whiting, dart, brim, all that type of stuff. You can get them straight off the beach. These things are such good bait, but we're gonna eat them tonight because they're actually really nice eating if you put them straight over the fire. I'm gonna show you how we do it a little bit later on. So this one's going in the back pocket. Here we go. We got another pippy baby. All right, that's pretty much should do us guys for the bare hands. We got a few of these pippies. We have done it, bare hands. We have ticked it off the list, baby. Let's grab this Gigi out of my bloody backpack and let's get out into that water, man. I'm sweating right now. And these conditions, man, they're going off like a frog in a sock and I'm frothing. Let's go, let's gear up. Alrighty, guys, we got these beautiful pippies right here. These things are not gonna be enough to feed me. So we need to get out to that beautiful ocean right behind me and go out with the hand spear. So I'm gonna take this backpack off, gear up and uh, let's get out there, eh? Now when you're spearing, you wanna look for some type of structure. That is where the bait's gonna be hanging out and what eats bait, big fish. And that is exactly what we're going after. Well, maybe not with this bloody hand spear, but we'll try to get something big on it at least. I've dropped those pippies off in the backpack. I'm gonna gear up right now. We're gonna get out there with this hand spear, primitive style baby. Let's see if we can get something good, eh? I really wanna show you guys some epic fish later on for a cook up. So let's get out there with the hand spear. We need to get this ticked off the list. Let's go. guys that was a bloody mission out there to get this thing but look how beautiful this fish is right there guys this is what we call a surgeon fish you know why they call it a surgeon fish because you see that spike right there they say that's as sharp as a surgeon's knife and baby we just tested out that theory can you guys see that right there i think i need some stitches in that bad boy i know the guys in hawaii absolutely love these things and also in indonesia they absolutely froth them and I got a really cool recipe that we can do with this fish, guys. So I'm super excited. We bloody ticked off the hand spear, baby. We've done it. I can't believe we bloody missed that flathead, man. I literally hit the edge of it. The thing just gave a wriggle and he shot off. I was so devastated. So we had to bloody settle for that surgeon fish. I'm not going to lie to you guys. My hand is bloody killing right now, eh? So I'm just going to take whatever I can get with that spear gun. Yeah, let's drop this bad boy. Let's grab this bloody spear gun. This big boy right here. And let's get out there with this thing, eh? I'm absolutely frothing to test this thing out. My hand is killing me, but uh, we gotta go tick off this challenge, guys. So let's get out there.
to be frothing or pissed off right now. Look at this thing, man. We got the fattest sea mullet ever. Look at this thing, man. This thing is so fat. Look at this shot on it. Headshot, man. Headshot dead. I don't know what was happening out there, guys. I was just missing left, right, and center. It was just one of those days. I don't know if I was thrown off because of my hand or what was going on, but I just got to the end of it. I was like, screw it. I'm gonna shoot a bloody big sea mullet. When we were Groms guys, we used to eat these things all the time. They're a super oily fish. A lot of people just use them for crab pod bait. They're definitely something you won't, you won't tell your kids about them one day, but you know, they're not that bad really. We'll give her a shot and uh, I haven't eaten one for years, man. Not the greatest fish on planet Earth. They're super stinky, but we'll chuck her over a fire and see how she goes down, all right? Let's get this fire cranking right on this beach right here. And let's get these things just straight on the fire, man. What a hunt out there, guys. I'm so stoked that we got all those species. We've ticked off the gun game. There's only one thing to do right now, guys, and that is get this fire cranking. You can tell it's kind of getting a little bit dark right now, and that is because the sun is setting over the horizon. It's afternoon right now. We need to collect kindling, and we need to collect firewood. We need to get this fire going because I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've just been in the bloody tropics in Indonesia. I'm back in Australia, it's winter right now, and I'm a little bit cold, I'm not gonna lie. This is the perfect kindling, this right here. Every time I find them, I just know that it's gonna go off like a bloody frog in a sock, so, uh, yeah, we just grab as much of this as we can. We might actually just get this fire going right next to this log, eh? I reckon. Yeah, this is gonna be a sick spot. A little bit of a fire pit right here. We'll get the fire going right there. Check out the view on it, the sunset is popping off. We bloody got our fish over there. We've done it, so. Let's get this uh, kindling base going. That's probably enough, it's super light and fluffy. That should hopefully take a spark. There's heaps of driftwood along this beach, so this stuff should go off, man. As long as it's not wet, guys, all this driftwood is perfect. So this stuff is pretty dry, you can see. We haven't had one of these massive tides for a while, so all this wood should be fine, really. You wouldn't bloody believe it. We've just come back from bloody Indonesia, and we got another coconut, man. This thing is so bloody old, but uh, it's a coconut at least. Yeah, there's nothing in there. This thing is so dusty. All right, maybe he'll go good with the fire. We might be able to get uh, some fibers off that. That will take a spark, but there's heaps of driftwood along this beach, man. Like, look at this stuff. This stuff is perfect. Some nice wood building up there. We got our kindling base and check out the Arvo on it. Check out this stuff, guys. This is gonna be perfect. What I'm thinking is, I just wanna get that fish straight on the fire. No messing around. I just want to chuck it straight on, bloody primitive style. It's an eat only what you catch challenge. There's no point bloody being fussy with it. We don't have ingredients to bloody marinate the fish on. We don't have all these, you know, red wine, white wine sauces. So, mate, let's just chuck her over the fire. Bloody Bob Uncle, she'll be done. All right, let's collect some more wood. We got to get it, we got to get this fire cranking. All righty guys, we've got a hell good fire base right here. We got our kindling. We got our little steel and flint right here. I'm gonna show you how to clean up this surgeon fish. Probably like the best way to do it. And the way I got taught that's like super easy in Indonesia. So essentially, you just wanna find where the head is, guys. And you wanna find like the top of the head, like I guess the forehead on the fish. You can see right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a cut in the downward direction. You can see I get to the gut cavity right here. Now, I haven't entered the gut cavity right now. You can see. I've just kind of cut that fish. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to cut down, guys, just like that. And that should hopefully 
just get rid of all that guts. You can see, we don't want any of that guts right there. That is gross. Now, it might be quite hard for you guys to tell, but that's all that's left right there. You can see, it's just beautiful white meat. So, probably the quickest way to clean up these surgeon fish. It's a simple way that they do it, and uh, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. We're gonna put that one to the side. She's just about done. We gotta clean up this bloody fat, stinky mullet, man. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I'm actually gonna try the same way I did with the surgeon fish. So it's gonna come off the head right there. Cut down, get rid of all this guts. Look at that, we've done well. We've got rid of all the guts. It's a little bit black inside. That's just, I guess, the color of this mullet. But that right there, that's just the beautiful meat. Can you guys see this? That right there is the row. Oh, nearly just went all over me. That's disgusting. This bright yellow stuff, that is the row of this mullet. So this thing was carrying eggs right there and uh, we've obviously just taken out of its gut. You can actually eat this stuff, guys, so we might chuck her over a fire and give her a shot, hey? Man, the things I've eaten today. We'll get rid of these guts, guys, and we'll get everything on the fire. Best way to do it, guys, is to just chuck it straight back from where it came from, which is the ocean right in front of us. All the bloody beach worms and crabs and everything will all feast among that. So I haven't eaten anything all day except for that bloody beach worm. So uh, I'm getting pretty hungry, I'm not gonna lie. The bloody best time of the afternoon, it's time for dinner, so you can see we've got our fire right here. I've got my steel and flint. I'm gonna try spark up this thing and then we'll try get this fire absolutely cranking. We'll get all the produce that we shot today straight on the fire. I'm actually frothing out right now. So uh, let's get this thing cranking, eh? Here we go, guys. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. It's a little bit wet, this kindling, but it still took that spark. You can see our fire's going, but it's super wet. So I just found this dry grass. See if this takes, eh? There we go, you can see that's just taking, guys. That's going way, way better. So let's find some more of that, eh? All right, guys, you can see I'm just fueling this fire. I just want it to be an absolute furnace, man. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the coals and we're gonna put the fish straight on. So you can see this fire is looking really big right now. It's looking perfect. So you can see this flame is absolutely cooking. It's a sunset cook-up. There's something about sunset cook-ups, man. I absolutely love them. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm actually just gonna Pull this flame back a little bit. You can see we've got a really nice coal base going right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this fish straight on. We've got the surgeon fish that we shot with the hand spear. It's going straight on, man. We'll get it straight in those coals. We've got uh, the bloody eggs of that mullet. We'll put that straight on the edge of the coals there. The bloody stinky old mullet. We'll get that on there also. And we've also got the number one pippies, guys. Can't believe... <coughs> That's smoke. I can't believe we've done it. We've literally got a seafood feast today. We'll get this on the side too. So I'm just gonna cover that fish up with all those coals and make sure that they just cook really nicely there and evenly. The skin of those fish guys should hopefully protect it and then we can just enjoy this bloody feast on the beach. Woo -hoo -hoo! How good is this? Man, we have done it today. It has been a struggle. We've bloody gone through the wars, man, cut ourselves up, but we're enjoying a bloody feast on sunset. Start of the day. We planned it, and it's all come together. Woo, I love this stuff. You can just see, guys, we got this seafood banquet on the cook. We got the pippies there. We'll know that once they're done, guys, because they'll pop open. Then we've also got the roe from that fish. We've got the surgeon fish, and we got the mullet. I'm actually super interested to see which one's gonna be the best eating fish. I'm actually super excited. Sometimes, guys, it's not about getting the best fish. It's just about being out there, having fun, trying new species. You know, you can go out and shoot coral trout and bloody tuskies every single day, but man, like what's the point? You may as well try some new stuff. If it doesn't go down good, then you just don't get it next time. Or you just shoot it for your bloody mother-in-law or you stitch up your mate and you give it to them and tell them it's really good. So uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just a part of life out here, guys. You gotta try everything. And it's just what I live for, man. Just look at this. All right, guys, you can see, I've just covered up this seafood right now with uh, a few of these uh, pieces of wood. And you can see we got a really nice coal base going here. So that should cook nice and slowly. Look at that meat, man, just slowly sizzling away. So, so, so hungry. Haven't eaten anything all day except for that beach worm. Look at this, guys. Look at the mullet row. I don't know about this, eh? Looks a little bit funky. Just doesn't look right, eh? That shouldn't, that shouldn't come for a fish, eh? Anyway, we'll give her a shot. You guys know me. I'm not going to turn down anything. What an absolute insane day, guys. We've managed to complete the gun game. And it's now time to enjoy the spoils of all of our hard work. So uh, I reckon we got in reverse order. So let's try the mullet with the spear gun. We're going to rate these 1 to 10. We're also going to consider, I guess, what weapon they were caught on. So this was the best weapon. And we got this bloody big old mullet. So uh, 
Let's see how she goes down. The good thing about these mullet, man, they got a super like moist texture skin. You can see, look at this. Actually looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. All right, white meat. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I seriously think that a good sea mullet is underrated. I'm giving it an eight out of 10. It's actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, especially over the fire because it retains a lot of moisture. All right, let's give this surgeon fish a shot. Let's just say I worked for this one, but look at the meat on that. It is absolutely just glowing. It looks insane, man. That surgeon fish, guys, is way more delicate. It doesn't have as much blood in it. It's actually really, really, really good. So I'm gonna give the surgeon fish a nine out of 10. Finally, guys, bare hand, pippy, woohoo. That pippy is so sweet, man. Wait, I'm not even kidding. I'm giving that a 9.5. That's actually beaten that surgeon fish 100%. That with like some good sauce on it would be so elite, man. What the hell? 9.5, the pippy's winning, man. Bare hand. I should just come down here with no weapons. I don't even need weapons. All right, finally, the fish row. Nah. Nah, that doesn't do it for me, man. It's just not, it's just not okay, guys. All right, guys, the pippy takes out the win, then the surgeon fish, then the mullet and then the rope. It has been one wild episode. I've loved having you all. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you legends on the next adventure. Much love. Shoo!